Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, our Kakadash. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles of GMS that rule well. I want to say Shalom to my brothers of YSO and Shalom to all the Akim that's out here pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. Uh, I'm going to do a quick video right here. Don't want to make this too long. Um, this is a a uh, a point that a lot of brothers have been talking about here recently. And, um, it, it, you know, it's talking about the modern woman and <laughs> what she's dealing with right now, basically because she's asked for equality, okay, in all facets of life, man. And, and really, um, this is dealing with feminism uh, but you know it, it started quite some time ago and it's uh gotten to a point now where it's like a bubble a feminist bubble that's about to burst man all right and this is a great time uh to be in all right if you're a man of the lord okay part of the hopeful elect that's that's you know hoping and waiting for the return of how shy and uh you know waiting for this place to be destroyed but in this time, okay, in this time of destruction, or right before destruction, we see that this bubble that has been created is about to burst, man. This feminist bubble that's being that's been created, man. Because men are lo no longer with the shit, man. All right, men ain't dealing with this shit no more. This 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 modern ideology that women have tried to push that that women are are, are sugar, sugar and spice, and everything nice, can do no wrong, don't have to take responsibility for a goddamn thing. Okay, men ain't with that shit no more. All right, I mean a lot of a lot of men haven't believed that for quite some time now. Okay, but it's just being it pushed in every, um, you know, every bit of media. I mean, movies, music, you know, television, you know, magazines. You know that that women are 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 God in this uh, in this country and in Babylon. In Babylon, they are man. They are lifted up as gods, man. Okay, really and truly. OK, but when you get down to the nitty gritty, OK, you have a lot of uh, women that are looking like this chick on the screen right now, man. OK, dazed and confused, don't know what the hell is going on. All right. And wonder why in the hell it is they're single at, at, at 30 plus, man. OK. Because you've been fed the same lies and bullshit that a lot of men have been fed, man. But see, men are, are at some point, you know, going to ask questions. OK, and in asking the questions, men have a lot of other men, OK, uh, who have studied some things, have started to formulate answers. And the answer is it's all bullshit, man. OK, everything we've been fed in the last 50, 60 years about this woman is all lies, man. All right. These women aren't meant to uh, be on equal footing and they're not meant to lead, man. OK, in relationships or any facets of life, man. So that's all lies. But. You give a child an inch, they'll take a mile, man. That's just like a woman. You give a you give a woman an inch, they'll take a mile, man. And they've taken things to the extremes, and so they think that what they have to offer, all right, is something, but it's really nothing, man. All right, they think that what they have to offer is something, but it's really uh, not a damn thing, man. Okay, the man the man is the prize, man. Okay, the man is the prize in everything. All right, and I can get that. Um, you know, I, I can prove that uh, through the scriptures, man. All right. I can prove that through the scriptures. All right. Give me one second here. But all this goes back. Um, you know, all this goes back to to the very beginning, man. OK. Genesis uh, 3 and 16. All right. Where it talks about uh, a woman's desire will be unto her husband and he shall rule over her. OK. So a woman's always going to want to be. um in submission, okay, truly in her core, okay, her core uh, nature is to be submissive unto a man, okay, but she's been indoctrinated to believe otherwise, okay, so it's a constant battle, all right, that's why they're dazed and confused, man, they don't know, they don't know why the hell it is they want a man so bad, okay, because that's what you were created to be, man, you were created to be subject to a man, okay, so they can understand why that is, but at the same time they want to be equal. It's because you got a war, man. You got a war between your your nature, okay, what you were created to be, versus what uh, society is telling you, man. All right. 
Let me get this real quick. This is um, Isaiah 13 and um, Isaiah 13 and 12. It says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Okay? That golden wedge of Ophir, man. A wedge of gold is, is, is highly, highly valuable anyway, man. Okay? And you have a lot of uh, men today talking about what high value men okay you hear that term all the time high value men high value women okay well i would i would argue uh, that there are no high value women okay but the only women of value are those that are submissive man okay that are submissive unto a man and, and uh more poignantly submissive unto their husbands okay before the unmarried uh unmarried women out here Okay, those who are willing to be submissive. Those are the only women with value, man, period. All right, it ain't got a goddamn thing to do with what you do, okay? Uh, um, your career, you know, your career path, how much you make, none of that shit, okay? That makes you a very little value at all, man. Your value lies in um, being submissive unto a man, okay? And childbearing, period. That's the only thing that makes you valuable, man, all right? Starting off with, with, with your looks, of course, okay, because that's going to get you uh, into a position to be uh, to be married, right? But then uh, following that, you have to submit, okay? And then your value uh, lies in, in childbearing afterwards, man. Point blank, period. That's it, okay? Nobody cares if you make uh, over six figures and all this other bullshit, all right? Because the man's not going to be spending that money, you know what I'm saying? Okay, um, let me get this real quick. Okay, because a lot of so-called um, Christian uh, women want to want to purport to believe in certain things, but when those things are are uh, when the precepts, okay, in this very same uh, you know quote unquote Christian doctrine are bought out, they run from these scriptures, man. Okay, or they try to wiggle their way around them. All right, like a like a damn snake, man. Okay. Or tiptoe around it like they're walking on a, a bed of nails or some eggshells or something, man. This is First Timothy 2 and 12. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence, okay? All right? Nor to usurp authority over the man. Because what's the order, man? All right? What's the order? Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, then man, then the woman, then the children, man. Okay, that's it. That's how, that's how it goes. So why the hell, you know, do they not want to, um, um, you know, acknowledge this precept or acknowledge this this point in the scriptures? Okay, and the Christians, I mean, they're all about the New Testament, so they know it. All right, they know it through and through, but they'll dance around this man. I mean, look, they don't want to hear this at all. Okay, and when bring bring this out, I mean, the demons come out of them. The demons, I mean, they, they you know. They 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 boil up in these in these women. It's like it's like uh, watching a pot boil. I mean, as you're reading it, you can see the, the the bubbles coming up to the surface, man. Until it's just a hot seething boil, man. And then it boils over, man. Okay. They don't want it. They, why? Because they don't want to submit, man. Okay. But again, it's all look all this all this is about the end, man. Okay. All this is about the end. All this. Uh, uh, you know, these feminist ideas, okay, uh, equality and all this other stuff is coming to an end. And see, women understand that men don't want these uh, feminist women, these women that want to be on equal footing. Men don't want y'all. So what's happening is these women are, are uh, uh, you know, approaching 40s, you know what I'm saying? Really, really 30s, you know, the term is, is being used now, the wall. OK, really, it's 30 for a lot of these women. OK, but you have a lot of women who are over 30. OK, and 40 is like the ultimate wall, man. I mean, if one wall is, is made of, uh, you know, drywall. OK, if you think of it as a house, you know, if, if, if the walls inside are made of drywall. OK, and women are hitting that wall. I mean, well, these walls at 40, hey, man, it's, it's brick. All right. It's brick cement. OK. And these women are hitting the wall hard. Okay. 
and starting to take take measure of their of, of, of their lives and realize, hell man, it have been thoughts. You know, it have been thoughts, you know, not thoughts, it have been thoughts out here running wild, hot girl summer. Okay, I don't know how the summer lasts ten years. Okay, but they done had a hot girl summer for ten years. All right, playing games out here. All right, from twenty five to thirty five, or thirty to forty, or whatever the case may be, twenty to thirty. All right, and men don't want them, man. Men don't want them because in that time they've taken on a bunch of doctrines, a bunch of dogmas, a, 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 a bunch of different spirits and demons from all the men they done slept with. Okay, ain't no man trying to take you seriously at that point, man. You're a jump off. Okay. You'll jump off at that point, man. Okay. Let me get some more scriptures here, man. I don't want to just, uh, you know, just talk, 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 man. But this is, this is, you know, this is the time we're living in, man. And it's really, it's really a great time, great time to be in, man. Okay. To see these women, um, you know, the women or the, or the feminist women's decline, man. Okay. And as they're jumping off, as they're jumping off and realizing men don't want them, then what are, what are a lot of them doing is they're turning to the uh, LGBTQ and, 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 you know, any other alphabets uh, that's, the, you know, mixed into it, okay? They're jumping onto that um, shit, okay? Now they want to claim that they're, that they're uh, lesbians and, and that, you know, and that they're, uh, you know, gay and all this other stuff, man. All right. I don't know if this video is gonna get uh, tagged by the algo for uh, for for even saying that. But now they're jumping ship, man. Now they want to say they in this community and this community that you know doing this that. Nah, man. They're dazed and confused, man. All right. At the end of the day, they want rod, okay. But men aren't going to accept them in their bullshit, man. They're not going to accept them, okay, with with high mouths on them, man. Okay. You don't you don't you don't put your all and invest your all into a into a, a, a vehicle or a, a tool or a piece of machinery that's been used, you know, uh, uh, almost to capacity. OK, to the point where it's almost not even any good no more. OK, no, you invest very little in that. OK, because you're only going to get so much use out of it. All right. Before it's completely uh, done. All right. And I use that analogy, okay, but that's the same thing with the with these women, all right? <laughs> Bottom line, man. Okay? Again, if her if her value is in submission to a man, again, more poignantly, her husband, okay? And she hasn't had a husband, but she's had several, then she's a very, very little value, man, if any at all. Period. You know what I'm saying? Very little. Okay? So men are looking at that. And they're not going for that shit. And the women are looking at it like, damn, man. All right, well, I'm not going to make it on this side. Let me cross over to this side. But they're always going to want a man. Their nature is to submit to a man, not another woman. Okay? That's going against the nature. Okay? It talks about that in the scriptures, too. Uh, but again, I, I want to get to uh, Isaiah. It says, uh, as for my people, children are their oppressors. And that word, children... Uh, if you look it up, um, it actually means um, uh, uh, abusers, okay? Um, uh, Allah, Allah, um, and it means to, to act or, or play the child, okay? To act like a child, but it also means to, uh, to abuse, okay? To practice wickedness, okay? So childlike abusers, man. As for my people, childlike abusers are their oppressors. OK, and you and you know, we have we have those, man. We have those. OK, you could say that's a so-called white man who we have a lot of young, uh, a lot of young CEOs, a lot of young entrepreneurs of, of countries. Uh, um, it's like not of countries, but of businesses and things like that. OK, and you might work, you know, you might go to uh, go to work and your boss is uh, at damn 23 years old or something, man. All right. Still wet behind the ears. Don't know a damn thing. He's telling you what to do, man. Okay, and putting hard labor on you at the job site or something like that, right? Okay, and women rule over them, man. Okay, so right, so right now in this society, women are uplifted as gods, man. Okay, I mean, you know, 
women's suffrage movement, okay, took it from a, a point of uh, equality, okay, and again, just went haywire, man. Now it's no longer equality. Now it's women are above the man, okay? Hey, but this is in this is in a society before the fall, man. This is before the fall. All right, all my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. And who's in control right now, man? Okay, a lot of wicked men are, are in control, but they put women, they've uplifted women. Okay, you have wicked, childlike uh, oppressors. Okay, young, uh, wicked men who are oppressing the people, young, wicked pastors, okay, who are oppressing our people, man, okay, and women are in, are, are in rulership, man, are in places of rulership at the job sites, you have women bosses now, women CEOs, okay, who don't know a damn thing, man, okay, you go to these, uh, these countries, I mean, uh, it's like these companies where the women are in charge, and the men uh, uh, can't stand it, man, okay, I mean, they're hating going to work every day, man, all right, you got to deal with a woman and her and her damn mood swings. This is a person who's supposed to be running running a company. She got mood swings and shit. Okay, on the rag, right? On the rag, and she's up and down, man. Okay, or going through uh, 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 menopause. Okay, and that's supposed to be some some type of uh, you know a good thing. She's 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 running the show. All right, complete and utter nonsense, man, and really wickedness. All right, truly and honestly. All right, let me get this uh, as well. So I get this. Uh, this is also in um, this is also in in, in Isaiah. Um, this is Isaiah thirty-two and nine. It says, "Rise up, you women that are at ease. Hear my voice." Ye careless daughters, okay? A lot of women are careless right now, man. They don't have a care in the world. Why? Listen, they can apply for any job and get it just based off the fact that they're a woman, man. That's merit in today's society. There's merit simply in being a woman, okay? Simply in being a woman. You have merit. Why in the hell it is? Because it's a wicked-ass society, man, okay? And the idea that women are sugar and spice and everything nice... It goes a long way because everybody's been indoctrinated with that, man. So simply by being, and, and, and again, women's rights, suffrage, all this other bullshit, okay? And, and, and that too, being a black woman, affirmative action and all this. So all these things are, have been put into place, okay? All these things have been put into place so that a woman, all she has to do is walk through the door or apply online or make the call, okay? And she's got merit. You hear the voice on the other end of the line. That's merit. Okay? In this society. So women are careless, man. Okay? Ye careless daughters, give ear unto my speech. Okay? And this is speaking to Israel. Many days and years shall ye be troubled. Okay? For the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. We're in that time right now, man. The vintage is failing for a lot of these women, man. The vintage is beginning. This is the beginning of the vintage starting to fail, okay? Because the vintage for a woman, yes, some of it is is material in nature, but the true vintage, okay, is in having a man, okay? Having that security, okay? Having that, that buttress, okay? That tower, that stronghold, okay? That's, that's what it is. Tremble ye women that are at ease, be troubled ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Okay? They shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Okay? But listen, we're coming into a time now. Look at this chick right here on the screen, man. All right? Dazed and confused. Okay? No security. All right? No safety. All right? Because all that comes from what? Having a man. Okay? And a lot of women today have put themselves in positions where they've said they didn't want no man, but now they're going to need one, especially for the time that's coming. OK, so we're in the time now where the vintage is failing, OK, or beginning to fail, but it's going to get worse. And as it gets worse, 
women are going to be starting to lament, like the scripture just said, okay? It's going to be time to lament. Because the, 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 the things that a man provides, again, that security and that safety, listen, you're not going to have them if you're out here trying to say that you're uh, LGB, you know, blah, blah, blah. All right. Whatever, whatever. On that side. OK. And you're putting yourself in a position where no man's going to want you. He's not going to take you seriously. OK. And it's going to put you in a position where you're ultimately going to have to submit because. But here's the thing, because your value is going to be so low, you're going to have to submit on a much higher level. It's going to be a higher level of submission for you than for a woman that was out here. Uh, storing up some value, basically saving herself. Okay. Yeah, she might have one or two bodies, but that's all she got, as opposed to twenty and thirty or higher. Okay. Because if a lot of men are honest with themselves, these women got a body count that's equal, if not more so than them. Let's, let's just keep it real. Okay. Let's just keep it real. All right. These women, it's easy for them. It's easy for them, okay, to give up to, to, to give up the box, all right, two or three times a week, okay, to two or three different uh, clowns out here, all right? So these women got bodies, okay? I mean, I've, I've, I've dealt with women who have, who have told me, okay, that they had some, some years, okay? And when I say years... I would say a whole 10 years from, you know, up to, up to, uh, leading up to their thirties, man. Okay. They, they were giving up the box wholesale. So, you know, they got bodies, man. That's not, that's not high value. All right. Let's just keep it real. That's not high value. All right. They have no value really. All right. But, um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't want to make this, uh, too long, but you know, this, I call it a, a feminist bubble, man. It's just like it's just like the housing bubble, okay? Um, that people say you know was created in in, in uh, two thousand eight. You know it, it collapsed. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was a, it was a, a a depression, but there's something else that that that, that it was called, man. Uh, but in two thousand eight, it basically collapsed. Well, the housing the housing bubble was a big part of that. Okay, and there's even one that's that's said to uh, take place in the last uh, couple of years. I heard some folks say that it, that it, uh, you know that it popped or or began to pop in 2020. I've heard some say that it popped, you know, this year. I've heard some say this about to about to burst, uh, which is what I believe. But enough about that, man. Uh, the bottom line, you know, and, and the point I've been trying to make is that there's a feminist bubble. That's uh, been created over a much longer time. We're talking 50 to 60 years, man. Okay, and it's about to burst, man. It's really, it's really about to burst. And we're seeing the beginnings of that right now with uh, <laughs> a lot of women coming to the realization that men don't want y'all, man. Men don't want y'all. There's, there's many more of y'all, okay? There's many more uh, women, okay? So, like, I don't want to speak two women because this this video isn't two women is 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 it's to the occupants to the brothers uh but women are starting to realize that men don't want them and there's so many more of them than us that we're going to be able to choose okay and we're going to be able to filter through okay this one ain't worth shit this one ain't worth shit this one ain't worth shit all right this one worth shit uh you know a little bit but not as much as this one i'm going with this one over here okay and there's going to be a lot of them. There's going to be a lot of them. And, and as more as more of these clowns, these simps, okay, we're definitely not men of the Lord, okay? Definitely probably two-thirds, you know what I'm saying? Simps out here, clowns, okay? They're going to be left with the, with those with those other women, but those women aren't going to want them. They're going to want the men of the Lord, man, because we're going to have the truth, okay? And we're going to have the safety and security in the time that's coming, Okay? And that's when Isaiah 4 and 1 is going to take, is, is really going to take place, man. Okay. And you can see the beginnings of it now, but that's when it's really going to take hold. Okay. And you're going to, it's, it's going, look, you're going to have, you're going to have your woman of value. Okay. Who's going to be uh wife material. And then you're going to have those women who are of no value, man, 
who are basically just going to be uh, servants and handmaids, okay, to your wife or your wives, man. They're just going to be servants and handmaids, man, really and truly, okay? Something nice to look at, but they're not going to have any value, man. You're not going to want them, okay? You're really not going to want them. So, you know, a lot of men, um, a lot of I can, you know, we talk about it all the time, and you say, She's going to be mine, the king. She's going to be my concubine, the king. You know, we and we joke, we talk as men. You know what I'm saying? Some of it's serious, you know? But at the same time, you got to understand, man, these women aren't valuable on this side. They're not going to be valuable on that side either, man. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to have a set set number, uh, you know, that's going to be for you, all right? Abarataza, uh, that's going to be a value, you know what I'm saying? Really, as a wife, and then you're just going to have your handmaids in your service, man. Okay? But I, again, didn't want to make this uh, video too long. All right, all praises, 144. Uh, and with that, um, let's say show on. This, is, uh, this shows. Yeah, this shows the time of, of, uh, of that picture taken, but it's 144. All right, anyway, with that, I'm going to say show on.